Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Muriel. This is Nurse Muriel. Welcome to my new subscribers. I am at 902, y'all. Thank you for watching the videos and deciding that this is some content that, content that you might find useful. To my oldies but goodies, how y'all doing? Um, I am Muriel and I'm a registered nurse of four or five, four or five years. Um, for those who are new and prior to that I was a licensed practical nurse and I'm one of those nurses who prefer long-term care. This is just a little ride and chat with me. I'm on lunch break from my job. I came to get me some fish and wings, y'all. I've been eating fish lately. I don't know what's going on, but whenever I have lunch or I all, I've been getting fish lately, it's been tasting so good. So this little spot here in my hometown has fish and wings, uh, fish wings and fries or rice plate and coleslaw for $14.95 and you get a drink y'all I just think that's such a good deal so I've been coming to this facility through agency for the past um, since November of 2022 I've been coming here faithfully at first I was doing two days a week I went to three days and I went to two and I just been working it like that and they pay so well that I've been just continuously coming to the same facility every now and then I would work my PRN job so lately, y'all, i just been feeling, there's nothing wrong with the facility at all. It's still easy work to me, easy money. I just feel like I'm getting bored. I noticed that about myself long, I, know, I noticed that about myself long time ago, like over, for like 15, 20 years ago. I get bored easily with the same thing, job, house, all of that, and end up switching. And I'm bored now. I'm like, I want something I don't know it's like now i'm starting to nitpick little things at the job that really aren't really is not a big problem but it's just little things about it that i don't like i haven't liked them from the beginning but i was enduring i was bearing with them because you know it wasn't nothing big but now i'm like oh i want to switch up a little bit so this will be one of my last shifts here at this facility um instead of coming regularly regularly like i've been coming i'm gonna come it's gonna be a little more sporadic the only thing really that i nitpick about here is they don't have prn orders like that for their patients it's always standing orders and it's like whenever a patient complains of pain or nausea or any any complaint they have it's we have to do like a standing order for it and then we have to document for five days that's five days two shifts so vitals all five days so when you're working with a group of 20 say you got 24 residents and five of them have a complaint you're now having a chart on those five patients every day for five days plus whatever is going on with any other patient who may have started a new medication or decreased a new medication we even do vitals y'all for i mean i i y'all know i'm the night type of nurse i like to do my own vitals but here i just haven't been able to do it because they have so many patients to chart on they even chart on patients y'all vitals if they transfer from one room to the next y'all they chart for the and you gotta if a patient goes from well, this room to this room it could be on the same wing if it's just a room change they're doing five days worth of charting on that patient like it's ridiculous y'all they just really documentation heavy here and i and i say i think it's because they've probably been sued so many times you know when a place gets every time something comes up and they get sued for something or dhec class something they always have a new plan a new intervention and it's just ridiculous all the charting you have to do here so i was like you know i just need a change of pace a lot of the patients here the good thing about it is a lot of them are alert and oriented a lot of them can do for themselves there so there are a lot of your patients there are a lot of the patients here who are walkie talkie who can do for themselves they're very much independent and that leaves us running around looking for patients all the time because they don't stay on their floor they be all around the building and you got to be searching and searching and waiting for them to come back to take their medicine and trying to catch them it's a, everywhere i work is just veterans and um it's just they you know a lot of them are stubborn and they want you know just being veterans i guess i don't know if that's how the military have y'all but it's like it has to go their way things just have to be perfect if a med is due at 1 p.m they want it at 1 p.m they don't want it at 105 you can come at 12 45 or something like that but you can't at 105 it's a problem like we have those type of residents there too and it's just it's just really getting to be like i'm just getting tired of it so i'm gonna stop coming here for a little while i, I really had to 
really had to think about this because they pay very well y'all and for me i'm gonna pick up some more time at my pr rent and my pr rent actually pays ten dollars an hour less than what i'm making here which it sounds stupid for me to do that because on average i'm going to be losing out on like 240 dollars a week if i just do two shifts at both of them it's like a 240 dollar difference plus on my pr rent they take taxes out so but i just kind of reconcile myself with the fact that i need a change of pace so i'm going to be doing more at my pr rent and y'all instead of doing 212s i'm going to be doing 216s to kind of make up the difference in the money which i know y'all say that's so stupid why are you gonna work longer but at my other facility where i'm pr in they're not as anal like they are where i'm at with the veterans my other facility is real laid back real chill real easy that's the facility where i was a supervisor on the weekends and i um now i'm just pr in but i would they do pay me less i am like i said pr in but i will have to work more hours to make the money but i feel like it won't be as bad because the work is it's like it's they're not as anal like i said they're not as anal the residents there are more confused but they're easier to manage you know the facility is very small it only it's only an 88 bed facility hey y'all so my day is done and i'm heading home that facility is a little more laid back a little more low-key what y'all know how i like to say when i need my little five ten minute breaks i can go or you know well, the exit door and where my car is parked is like right outside the door. So I can actually sit in my car and see inside my floor that I work. So I can see if anything is like going on. I do like that. Um, but yeah, y'all, so it was a good day. I had, uh, we had a treatment nurse today. For those of you gonna be starting in long-term care, just know that, and sometimes you'll come on and there won't be a wound care nurse, so you'll be responsible for your treatments. Luckily today, there was a wound care nurse and she did all the treatments that was associated with ulcers, venous ulcers, um, you know, any type of ulcer, she did those treatments, but things that were like her regular skin tear or whatever, I had to take care of, which I didn't have any of those only thing I had was an abscess um, that had drained. I had to dress in and do all that. So yeah, all in all, and I had some skin preps, some creams, things like that with your cream, berry creams, different types of um, creams that are ordered because just about all of them go on the groin or the sacrum. But it was a good day. I actually clocked, I actually clocked out at like 6.55. My relief came like right at 6.45. I did have a lot of patients who had to go out for hospital visits today. So at any given time throughout the 12 hour shifts, instead of the normal, I think I only have like 24 patients. I had maybe tops 21 because at any given time I had three patients that were out on appointments. So, and on my last hour, I still had one patient that had not returned. Yeah, so anyway, I just want to thank you guys for still tuning in. I really appreciate it. I um, know I'm not consistent, and I am still trying to get my thousand subscribers. I am. Um, I think I'm at like 903 right now. I went about my work day, came back to take this, and I think I've been gaining another subscriber. So I may just hit it, y'all. I am excited. I still plan to do a live once I hit a thousand subscribers. Um, but anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Until the next video, bye.